hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit create method of a model in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so what we will be doing in this video is that we will be showing you how to inherit the create method of a model so we already have successfully created different models in odoo like patient for appointments and patient tag we have created the models still we don't do anything to create like odoo is handling everything we just fill the form and on clicking save the record is created inside the database so this is handled by the create method inside this class so i'll show you so here we have the pie charm and if i go to the custom add-ons here we have om hospital and suppose if i open the patient.py file where we have defined the hospital.patient model and what happens if i click on create and suppose if i enter some value test and i'll choose some dates and on clicking the save button the create method in odoo is getting triggered so we haven't defined any create method inside our model but it is coming from this inherited class models dot model so inside this model odoo is defined the create method so in some cases we might have to inherit those function and to do some operations so what i can say suppose if this patient if we need to generate some unique ids so if you go to the, any hospital there will be a unique id for each patient which will be created automatically upon creating the record so in oru suppose if you are creating a patient master and if you need to generate a sequential value or sequence for the patient we can do it by overriding the create method that is whenever we save or whenever we create a new patient system has to generate a sequential value like hp001 hp002 like each patient there should be a unique sequence so for that purpose also we have to inherit the create method so let's see how we can inherit the create method of hospital dot patient model it's same as how we inherit the normal model so i'll go to the pie charm and what we have to do we have to define like this diff create so this is the function self comma vals super we have to use super in order to override a function so if you didn't use super it will be like we, we are rewriting the current function so i'll use super super class name self comma create then i have to pass vals here have to copy this valves to here so this is how we can inherit the create method in odoo also you have to for create method you have to give at api model decorator so whenever you inherit the create method make sure that you have given this decorator at api we have we have imported api at api dot model decorator has to be given so this is how we can inherit the create method in odoo so in order to understand that this function is getting executed what i will do simply i will add a print statement that is print odoo mates and what i will do i'll just restart the service i'll clear the log and i'll go to the ui and let me click on save now so we already have opened a record entered name date of birth is entered and if i click on save we have an error object has no attribute id so i think its error is coming from here so let me return i think as i haven't returned the error is coming so i just add a return here and let me restart and if i click on save again you can see the record has been created successfully and if you check the log so here we have the log and here you can see automates has been get printed in the log that means the function has been executed successfully now what we can do i'll create another patient and i'll do one more thing let me print this well so here we have an argument 
valves so let me print and see what we have inside the valves so i'll just restart again and let me create odo erp a patient named odo erp i'll change gender to male i will add tag vip and date of birth i'll choose 2014 june 1 and if i click on save and if you check the log here you can see image is coming though so these are the things that we received inside this valves so here you can see as we haven't supplied any image image field so all the fields inside this model will be coming here image is false so last update is odu field and the name so we have entered name as odu erp odu erp and you can see date of birth 2014 june 1 appointment is false you can see gender is coming tag ids you can see this 5 is coming all the entered value we will be receiving inside this valve now what i can do let me do one thing so here we have one field reference and its technical name is ref suppose if i need to set a value inside this field automatically from code what i can do i'll just do like this valves of so valves is a dictionary you can see it's a dictionary so inside dictionary i can do i can add to this dictionary rough of valves of rough so i'm adding a new key rough or uh, what i can say so here you can see rough is coming as false so what i'm doing is that from inside the create method i am assigning a value to this field rough as i'll put hp test i'll put like this hp test or om test you can put om test and let's see what happens so simply i have assigned a value to rough field from the code and if i try to create a new record so i have to create a new record i will name it as what i can say let me pineapple i think i have already created this patient pineapple and i'll keep reference as empty gender as male i'll choose date of birth some random dates and if i click on save right now reference is empty and if i click on save you can see reference is getting as om test you can see a value has been assigned to this field from where it comes it comes from here valves of rough we have set om test now if you create another patient test 2 and you put some value here ccc and date of birth let it empty even if i can save this ccc will get overwritten by this value om test so if i click on save you can see rewriting so here the valves is coming and this valves is going to the original create method so we are here we are rewriting if even anything user enters in the form we will be setting back as om test and it will go to the original create method and get written into the database so this is how you can inherit the create method in odoo so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel and support us by having a comment sharing with your odoo friends so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you